do no that. <laughs> This nigga used to tell me this because you know I like to do them uh you know them up close and personal songs and ones that make a gangster cry. So he was like, it was one song called Happy to Be Here. And it's called Happy too, like really nigga? Happy to be here. So you know at that time he was just super Turn the club up, let's fight in the club this type shit. After tell me when to go, snapping fingers, all that shit. So we had already did them records. We already and did that. With happy ass so I shit. come with the. It, it wasn't happy. It's one of the best songs I ever wrote because it's called Happy to Be Here. So he was niggas that had tears in their eyes in the club and shit. So this nigga, so, so look what he say. So he say, so I say, man, nigga, this the this the one. This one of them ones. He just don't nobody want to hear no sad songs. Motherfuckers want to party. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So look, so we go over to Tom Wiley House, president of Warner Brothers at the time. He come in, we had a little gathering and shit. Madonna was there and all of them. He come in, he bring the new, the, uh, the master CD from, well who mastered that? Big Tom Coyne. Tom Coyne mastered it. So he bring that in, he say, nigga, this shit jamming. Nigga, I put all of the fast songs first, and then I put all the slower songs last, and I put your sad song on there. <laughs> That's a motherfucking That's a gold family. album. That's the album shit, we though. go. We used to argue all the time about that shit, though. That shit used to be funny. We had a good time in the studio. Good, good time. Good and, right. you know, we kept it real. When you keep it real, you speak right. your mind, shit get done right. Right. You know what I mean? And we got a classic record. Classic. Real classics. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ain't no lean in my cup either. No lean. Yeah, this is Mango Scotto. I just got a camouflage in the yeah, it's damn me. <laughs> it is 15,000 motherfuckers here today. 15,000 motherfuckers here today. Now, if y'all want this shit to continue on next year, the next year, the next motherfucking year, you know what you gotta do? No motherfucking fight. No bullshit today. No bullshit. I seen ladies getting kicked out. What the fuck is ladies doing fighting? I know we in Sacramento. It's a lot of gangster bitches here, but god damn. No more fight. We all together as one today. Black, white, Latino, Filipino, whatever the fuck you are. We are partying together. All of y'all motherfuckers is my motherfucking niggas.
gotta say one thing. The homie Two Sword was on stage tonight, today. If it wasn't for Two Sword, there would be no Lil John. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. That's my big uncle. He gave me my prank when nobody fucking believed in me. So, two fingers up and two short, he's still here with us. Drop that shit. We got ASU up here. We got the whole gang area family up here. That's what it always was.